We're very happy to bring our beloved, our Pastor Danny, to be our messenger today. Amen. Welcome, welcome. We'll read the book of. I haven't said anything, please let's read. We'll read three books. The first book that we sing is Ephesians. Ephesians 5 1. Uh, Ephesians 1, chapter 5, to verse 2. And another person will read John, John 6. The first person will, sing, will read Ephesians. It will be John. Johanna Sita. John 6. Sitini verse 68. Asante mama. Another person will read Thessalians 5, 16. 5, 16. Another person will stand. Wa Thessalonike. Wa kwanza. Sura yake ya tano, kumina Five, sita. Sixteen. Hadi kumina saba. Aya. Seventeen. Jina la buwana ni barichiwe. Praise the Lord. Aka huyu ambana kwenda kusoma wa Efeso, aanze He's kusoma wa Efeso, tano, moja, hadi mili. Ephesians 5, verse 1 to 2. Tuende na kusoma. Let's go with reading. Amen. 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 Okay. Okay. That's enough. Let's go to the second person. Uh, verse 6, 68. Twende kwa nani? Wewe unayo maneno ya uzima wa milele. Amen. 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 Msomaji wa tatu. Uh, the third person. Thessalonike wa kwanza, tano, kumina sita, kumina sa. Thessalonians um, 5, 16, verse 16, 16 17. Amen. Unasoma kitabu kia wa Thessalonike wa kwanza, sura ya tano, mustani wa kumina sita. Mandishi na shudia ifatari. Uraini siku zote Ombeni bila kukoma Shukuruni kwa kila jamu Maana hayo ni mapenzi ya mungu kwenye Katika Kristo Yesu Amen Amen Na kanisa tuseme amen The whole church will say amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise the Lord Basi ni salimie hivi Say hi to me like this. Inua kitu wachako jamani, ni salimie hivi. Say hi to me like this. Ni nai mfura kubwa. I am very happy. Ni maona wana nikokota. I see that they brought me here. Na niambia utatu. To tell me that I will be the preacher of today. Na wakaniweka microphone. Wow. And they gave me the microphone. I said wow. I was very surprised. Ni anzi ya hapa. I'll start from here. Ni shukuru. 
I want to thank uh, my leader, a senior pastor, na team ya and her team, na mashema, senyote, na and the ushers in the whole church. Na ususani, ni kwa yula bange, toa neno leo, I am very thankful for the person that allow me to be a friend here. It's something that's not easy. Amen. Huh? Amen. It's something that's not easy. They tell you that you're in a program. And they tell you to sit. And then this other person will stand up and preach. They tell you that you're in a program. And they tell you that you're in a program. Na isiwe mara pili isiwe mara tatu. This is not the second time or third. Ni shida. It's a problem. Kwa hiyo ninashukuru sana. So I'm sana. very thankful. Kwa mshabange ubiri kwa siku ya leo. For being the preacher of today. Amen. Amen. Labda Mungu ana mambo yake anayapanga kwa sababu like God has something that he wants to say to us today. Na kama kuna mtu angehubiri leo afuatilie anaelewa kwamba kuna umachi wa maneno. There's probably going to be a match. Kuna kumbe Mungu. You'll see that. Ah, afanya gikosa. That God did not Amen. do wrong. Amen. Jambo la pili. A second thing is. Merry Christmas to you Merry all. Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nimependa Christmas tree yenu. I really love you guys' Christmas tree. Nimependa decoration. I love the decoration. Kwa kweli mlikuwa na Christmas nzuri. Truly really you guys had a great Christmas. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. 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 Na jambo la tatu. And the third thing is. Happy New Year. Bonane. Bonane, bonane, bonane. Jamani, bonane, jamani. I said Happy New Year. Wabendo wa kongomani wanasema bonane ya boni fe. Eh, mtu wanasema bonane na unaweka ya boni fe. Sio ya bonane fe. It's not fe. Inakuwa ni ya boni fe. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa wa kristo tunaifanyaga ni ya boni. As Christians we say. Ya mbinguni kabisa. That it's for heaven. Basi jambo la nne. And the fourth is. Kwa wageni. Uh, for the visitors. Wametoka Nebraska. That they came from Nebraska. Uh, kwa jina naitwa My name is Danny. Danny. Biaombe Stephen au bia Mungu Stephen. Biaombe Stephen au bia Mungu Stephen. Ende lilala ni china. That's my name. Hey, biaombe. Biaombe. Eh Dani Biao. Dani Biao. Au Dani bia Mungu. Au Dani bia Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Uh, kwa wale ambao hamjanifahamu. To those that don't know me. Mimi ninafanya huduma ya multiplying churches. I am kwa multiplying churches in kwa region ya Missouri. In region of Missouri. Na pia kwa kanisa letu kibinafsi kesi tunafanya na overseas. We do overseas. We do in Africa also. Kwa hiyo kila mara niko hivi. So all the time I'm just all over the place. Na nikitembelea St. Louis. And if I come to St. Louis, siwezi nikaondoka sijaja kwa sababu. I can never go back without coming here. Tulishinda hotelini pale na mke wangu. Stay at the hotel me and my wife. Mke wangu mzuri. My beautiful wife. Ni ni bibi mkubwa. Uh, it's a big wife. She's a big wife. Unaelewa hilo ni bibi mkubwa. Do you understand that she's a big wife? Wewe utakuwa bibi wa pili. Au watatu wa ile. Yeye ni mkubwa. Tendelea kuwa mtakatifu. Asho continue. Sijui kwamba utaweza kuwa wa pili. Bwana utakufita. Because there's no one. Jina la Bwana limebarikiwa. Basi ni msii asalimie kanisa. Let me make her stand up so she can say hi to the church. Amen. 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 She says she loves you guys a lot. Lakini hanizidi kuwapenda sana. But she doesn't love you. Nimetembea na mechanic. I walked with a mechanic. Kwa kweli ni mechanic. A true mechanic. Ungeona ile gari niliyowatangazia kipindi kile waliyoiiba wakaivunja vunja wezi. Alivyo fix the way that you were surprised. Kwa hiyo ni msii ndugu yangu shilingi yangu 4K nina ana jina la kiutani ni 4K 4K eh 4K awe akasimama na yeye asalimie kanisa so he can say hi to our church amen amen basiba amen jina la bwana libarikiwe amen tukiwa na mkutano wa mwaka yani si baba yetu tukiwa na huyu Ninajua ngome ipo kabisa. Mliona alihusika na 
kushughulika na ngombe ya mwaka jana fixing the goal na anatumiaga gari yake kanisa wapa tunamwambia tukupe mafuta akasema hapana if he needs oil tukupe mafuta hapana amen amen unaweza ukasema 4k na wewe can you say 4k kwa hiyo ni 4k kabisa truly he's 4k kwa watu ambao wajui 4k ukiingia kwenye mambo ya mtandao na ukielewa 4k ni nini yaani 4000 jina la bwana umarikiwe ni shukuru tena Mwenyezi Mungu i want to thank god again kumuona ndugu yangu nilikuwa nikiangalia to see my beloved yuko wapi mkuu wa vijana ninamwangalia leader of of the youth nikamuona kwenye mekaa i see where he was seated at jina la bwana libarikiwe amen fundisha mkono tusalimiane nimekuona bwana say hi to me i've seen him ah uh, mambo wa kijana wa mambo kakozi the youth leader kakozi tulikuwa na mkutano we had the conference kwa kweli hatuweza kufanya chochote kile kwa kuchangia we couldn't do anything lakini ndugu yangu ambaye amekaa karibu na kakozi so, mbele ya kakozi wana mtambo pale ametusaidia sana he helped us a lot na harusi ya celeste amesaidia kabisa pasipo kwa na malipo yoyote yale mpaka ninajisikia aibu I even feel embarrassed. Kwamba nitamlipa nini? To ask him as a walking and replace. Mungu akubariki bwana mitao. May God bless you. Wewe kamera mwenye bwana. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Kuna watu wanakuwa wanajitolea tu. There's a lot of people that are actually willing to. Wanajitolea pasipo kuomba hata malipo. Amen. 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 Sasa huyu ana vipaji vingi. Mnajua vipaji vyake huyu? Si wewe napiga kwa ule mziki wa dugu wa kiduke kila cha mziki eh? Ni huyu kwenye harusi ile. Amani. <laughs> Sasa na vipaji vya kutafsiri ukiweka so kwenye mziki yeye yule. Na tena maombi yeye yule mle. The prayer she's there. Tumshukuru Mungu kwa kupiga makofi. Bwana akubariki. Na amesha kuwa sasa mtafsiri wangu. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Amen. Basi ninafurahi kumuona mchungaji rafiki yangu. I am very happy to see mchungaji Chombe. Our pastor Chombe. Pamoja na kizimia moto. Also with his wife. Amekwenda Afrika kakosa kwenye mkutano wetu. And she came back. Lakini una deni na na mchungaji But Chombe. Oh me something with Pastor Chombe. Mchungaji Chombe mnakuwa kama mnamtuma kwenye misiba tu. Pastor Chombe you always send him to me. Do not continue sending him to me. Aje kutuhubilia leo. Also bring him to bring the word of God. So he can preach the word of God. Sikweli kiongozi wangu. Isn't that right? Kila ninapoingia kwenye mlango pale. All the time when I see your picture. Ninanikula namba. Kwa hiyo ninashukuru kiongozi wangu Mwakeru na I am really happy. To, uh, mama wangu hapa mama Mwakeru mama Mwakeru and pastor nime, Mwakeru nimeona kisirimba yuko kamati ya jikoni ya mkutano wa mwaka mama Tumba na wengine pale wako Bwana Yesu asiwe Amen Basi nisemeje What can I say uh, Sasa huyu ngiohe na bijoha naye <laughs> anaimba kila kwaya kabisa Sings in all choir ndugu zangu tunawapenda we love it i truly love you kwa kweli tunawapenda truly we love you guys amen amen ni neema ya ajabu it's really a nice thing kupata huduma hii kwenye mji wetu wa st louis ni neema ya ajabu Mwimbaji alisema walipomuua yesu walifikiri wameshi they thought that they have won wakakunywa wakapiga vigelegele wakacheza mziki wakapeana chance they were very happy siku ya tatu kikaonekana cha mtamakoni they saw na mlinzi na nini na vida vitu we everything kikaeleweka sema kikaeleweka say that it was fixed ndo hivi tunadunda ndani ya yesu christ and that's how we are here in jesus christ Dada zangu Edina, nisemeni nini? What can I say? 
Hawa tumetembea nao. We walked with them. Tangu tungali watoto. Since when we were kids. Naona Muya yuko pale. I see the ferry station. Congratulations. Eh, mlikuwa mmependeza. You guys were very beautiful. Uh, you guys looked great. Alafu mke wangu akadondoka analeta gift akadondoka pale. My wife brought your gift. Nimemrudisha nyumbani na maumivu kabisa. I brought her back. Alikuja na shauku na shauku ile haraka haraka pale kwa sinye kuingilia walikuwa wamemwaga sijui ni maji sijui ni nini. What it was? Wepole mama. Yes ashimu. Amen. Yes ashimu. Amen. Nikisema Yesu ashimwe useme ashimwe chane. Yesu ashimwe. Ashimwe chane. Na wewe sema Yesu ashimwe. Yesu ashimwe. Ah unasema ashimwe chane. Ashimwe chane. Amen. Amen. Mama mama uh, mama huyu mama mpiga mziki ameshukuru ame Mwenyezi Mungu hapa. Ah uh, ninamwangalia yuko wapi? Ameka wapi? Where is she Mama wa, wa Seattle. Mama wa Seattle, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Ah. Mungu akubariki sana. May God bless you a lot. Na kijana wangu hapa. And our Anandikia youth here. He's, he's right to Unahitaji vyombo vya muziki? Do you need help with this? Shame. Bwana sisi tuko sawa, karibu tupige mbele. We're good. Welcome. Bwana wabariki. May God bless you guys. Na first station nimesikia eh, umekuza, umekuza huko. Mungu awabariki sana. May God bless you guys. Kwa ile timu yangu ya usafi na kwaga nitaipenda. The team that I have for the cleaning. Akiwemo mama pale. <laughs> Urukura nyumba. <laughs> Primoria. Our yes, Ashim. Primoria. Haguru kundamutsi. Haleluya! Ah. Hawa wanaanzana na mkutano. They're starting with the conference. With her sister Sifa. Hata kuna wengine wanaenda wanafanya makusudi. Anaharibu chona, anatoka vile vile ajatengeneza. Hawa wana shukulika kabisa. Just like how. Hawangali ni fulani katoka hapa. Hawangali ni uchafu. Wanani wanasi. They don't care how dirty it looks. Watu wananyakuwa hapa vitaji. Watu wananyakuwa kabisa baraka. People are just really wasting their blessings. Na wewe unaendelea kusinzia. And you're just there. Watoto wangu wamejifunza kutoka kwa foibe. Foibe ya yuko. Angali shule. My children learn from foibe. Is foibe here? No, she's not. Wali mpenda na vyo tafsili foibe. Our translator foibe. Tangu wamemona mkutano wa kwanza wakanza kusema. She's the first translator. Amenda shule. Wanataka kusafsiri kama yeye. They want to translate just like Foibe. Kwa wanaiga, sasa ruga inawashi. And they started practicing what the language is like. Kwa hiyo ni kusi usimame na mimi. So I see. Na uza ni kaungia mengi. I can say a lot. In one word, I love you. In one word, I love you. Teme yetu ya mkuta ya mwaka huu kule Kansas City. The theme for. Ni kupanuka. The theme in Kansas City is to open. Kupanuka. To open. To be fruitful. Hallelujah. Amen. Unaelewa hilo neno? Do you understand that word? Basi simama, tumshukuru Mungu tuingie kwenye hili neno kwa muda mdogo. Back to this. Kuna hitaji ambalo sitalisahau. There's one need that I will not forget. Uh, kabla sijamaliza. Before I'm not finished. Kiongozi utatusaidia. Our senior pastor you help us. Usiondoke kabla simu yako haijaombewa. Na yako Hilo nimeliandika hapa nisije nikalisa hawa. I wrote it down so I don't forget. Amen. Amen. Nimeliandika. I wrote it down. Sizi zetu tistoe, zitaondoka, zimeombewa. Our phones will be left by praying, by getting prayed at. Na zianze kumtukuza mungu. So they can be glorifying God. Amen. Nisiwe wakati moja kumuombea mtu kwenye simu, wakati moja team kutokitena. Na 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 the devil is really playing with us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kuna mtu angali amekaa. There's someone that's sitting down. Ninaongea mambo mawili ninaomba tunaingia kwenye hili neno. Jambo la kwanza. First thing is mkutano, the conference. Tumeupanga tangu mwaka jana, si ni kweli? Tarehe 15, si ni kweli? Sasa uangalie shetani alivyokuwa mjali. Well, see how the devil is. Ataanza kukwambia ticket ya mwezi wa saba ndio ukoo. Ticket of July is Kuanza kusafiri. So you can start traveling. Uone utaangalia tu michezo itakayochezwa. Vitu vimepangwa mwaka jana. Uangalie namna gani shetani atachezea tarehe 15. Ashindwe kwa jina la Yesu. 
utakuwa mtu wa kushangaza kweli. You'll be a person that's going to surprise. Mimi nilifikiri kwamba mlishatangaza, tulishatangaza tumeweka. Mimi naendelea kutangaza. Na mimi nitafanya hivyo. And I'll do that. Kitu hiki kile nitakuwa na kusema na sema. I'll continue reminding them. Amen. Amen. Na tujiandae kabisa kwa mwaka huu. Mimi na my wife tumeshapanga katika vitu tunavyovifanya. Me and my wife we have prepared ourselves. Fungu la 10%. Fungu la 10%. Uh, na sadaka offering na michango ya kanisa and the other needs for church ni namba 1 ya expenses tunazo. It's the number one thing that we have expenses. Amen. Amen. Tukienda kwa serikali tunawaambia tunawazana kwanza na fungu la 10 my expenses kuzitaja wakisema taja expenses unazofanya ninaanza na fungu la 10 ninamwambia sadaka ninamwambia na michango mingine inaweka alafu ninakuja sasa kuweka rent ninaweka umeme na maji mzungu mmoja aliniangalia nikamwambia ya this is my expenses We're in a bad world. You know, the bad is the period that we're in is really trying to. We're just here, we're being seen like we're here. And it comes for you to take out 10%. All the time, you get a check. You get 10%. Are you guys mad? Is that that right? Ukipata by two weeks kila wiki mbili check kwa sababu kila wiki mbili kwenye daftari la kanisa unaandikisha. Amen. Na unajua kanisa lina kitabu cha cha majina of names. Nasema ni cha kitabu kuna kimoja cha kazi. There's one for work. Na kingine cha majina attendance. And other for attendance. Ni rapid attendance. Yeah. Ukija malaika na note. If you come the also the person for church also write it down. Kesho kija tomorrow if you want to go to the house, you can go to the house. It's really good. 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 The book is that you have done. And the work that you have done. All the people that you have done. There's a book for you. There's a book for you. The church. And also in heaven there is. Hallelujah. Now attendance, kitabu, kiaftari ya attendance hiko. There's a lot of attendance in church and in heaven. Jambu na pili. Sati thing is. Dugu zako. Beloved. Dugu zako. Beloved. Beloved, that's in Mount Olives. We have the one song that's been sung. 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 That this ministry, <laughs> this is really a big thing. When I'm in Kansas City, I don't see what we can do for the expenses that we have in our church. And I also think about you guys. I think about you guys a lot. All the time when I was in the I was going to
Na kumbe madirisha ni mazuri unaweza kusoma Biblia na unaweza kusoma. You can just tutumie kima. Hallelujah. Amen. Tutumie kima. Kila mtachotume tutafika. We'll be we'll reach there. Amen. Amen. Na mawe na nini na mkiki na nini na changa tutafika. We'll really reach there. Amen. Sema amen. Please hear me well. 
Yabo took the verb to eat and it down. The verb is dropping. I don't want shida. It's not the problem. Yale una yo yaiga. The problem is the stuff that you have with shida. That's the problem. If you eat and you get rich pass. Hallelujah. Amen. If you eat and you get rich pass, I teach you about big and not very cheap. The word of God says, "Mumpi ya makofi." Pass it to me. I'm going to go around the edges of the church. Chila na bana ni tio. Praise the Lord. Who is your child? Whose child is this? Ah, where we? Na ba ba mo. Yo, go go. I na mo go chakra. Honestly, I love my own So the surprising thing is that the person that we came back, they came back. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Amen. Na Bwana tusaidie. And may God help us. Kitu chote unachoiga, the things that you copy. Huwa tunakiita fake. It's something that we call fake. Mama ndio kusema fake. Mama ndio kusema fake. 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 Kina kuwa fake. It's something that's Mama si original. It's something that's not original. Meiga. You're copying. It. Copy light. You're copying. It. Isn't it correct? Isn't that right? Baba Chris. Baba Chris. Na kuwa ni fake? Isn't it fake? Now Christo, now Christo akuiga una kuwa ni fake. That happens is a Uchungaji wa kuiga una kuwa ni fake. If you if you are passing the daily wa kuiga una kuwa ni fake. If you are passing some things that are that are copy. Lakini but tukisoma maandiko yanakwambia kuna kulikuwa na wale wa manabii. So I said they were children. Hawa walikaa chini ya wana manabii. These ones were called to this prophet in the past. Now come ya kutafsiri na kujua mambo ya Now a Christian who is like Christians that copy. The one is as a woman who is going to be with him. Are those that go with certain, they have certain behaviors? There's someone that I talk to. Ali niambia hivi. He told me that. Kwa kweli kila mwezi anaspend hela nyingi. Truly has spent. Na bila anaspend kwa nini? Na tena ni maskini and he's poor. Hata hela ya kununua gari hana. Hata hela ya kunipia simu hana. Lakini hela ya kunua fake hair. Unajua fake hair? To buy fake hair. Eh? It breaks. Anaenda sokoni anapenda kimoja. He will go to this place. Akirudi barabarani tuone mwingine na kamera kipenda tena. May God help us. Beloved. Are you living a life of copying? Truly. There's something that God has put inside of you. Amen. You know that God, if He wants to fix something, if He wants a singer, if He wants a Christian, if He wants a preacher, He fixes that thing. The respect that you have open will not be fake. But if you are fake, all the time that passed, I gave out an example of. Uh, Kipuwa na ingizaka kutipuwa. There's a scale that they put under there. 
Kuna zingine zinajitahidi. There's others that try. Watu wanagonga zinajitahidi tu. The fire will hit but it will still fix itself. Sasa kuna zingine. But there's others. Sasa utaziona zikuwa fake. But you see that they were fake. Unasikia kule kwenye moto. You see that they pop up. Ila mtu kwa fire moto kijitahidi kisa kidogo the fire in a pasuka. It breaks. You see that this one is fake. Bwana tusaidie. May God help us. And if you want to know, in Christianity, the Bible tells us that we should copy God. Amen. Copy God just like kids. Why does the Bible touch us that? Amen. Amen. Kuna utofauti wa mtu na mtoto. There's a difference between a, a person and a children. Sasa siubiri mtoto leo. I'm not going to preach about children. Tuende kwa hili neno la kuiga. We're going to preach about the word of copy. Mungu God. Ni upendo. His love. Biblia inatuambia Mungu ni upendo. The Bible tells us that God is love. Na bila Mungu hatuwezi tukajua upendo. Without God we won't know the meaning of love. Amen. Amen. Na Mungu and God Anatuomba. He 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 tells us that. He tells us that. Kumuika. We should copy him. Yani kwa msemo mwingine. In another way. Kuchukua mfano wake. To take his example. Thank you. Asante. Amen. Amen. Kuchukua mfano wake. To take it to take his example. For example, Esther. Esther. Kwa una machina ya ya baraka tu. Kwa nisa si. Amen. Sasa Would you stand up? No, no, for you, please, sister. We are on the table, sister. Roda. 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 Joa, Roda. When Esther is here. Amen. Amen. I want Esther. I want Esther. I want Esther to copy Roda. 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 Yani wanafana na hawa watoto wa mchungaji. They look alike. Ni mapacha mapacha. They look like their twins. Sasa wewe, come so you take your hands off your pocket. Utapiga hatua kwenda kule. Je, wako wewe start from here? Nitaomba Esther. And I want Esther to copy you. Na mtaniambia kama Esther mimiiga aje. And you tell me if she's here or not. Are you ready? With your hands in the pocket? Sasa hauta fanya mashirika. You're not going to work. Wewe wewe Just walk. And then Esther will copy you how you're walking. Is it that right? Alright, walk. Does she copy you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Please go sit down a little. Katika ulimwengu huu tunao. Ah the word that we are in today. Ni vigumu kuiga. It's hard to copy. Tabia ya mtu mwingine. Ah the people's behavior. Kitu kinachotusaidia kuiga helps us is that ni kutoka above. It's to come from above. Kutoka something coming down. Unashushia. See it comes down. Na ile siri na kanda ni yako. And the thing that's Alafu na kusaidia kumwangalia mama. It helps you to look at my mother to see our pastor my dad. Unaangalia mchungaji pale chombe. Unaangalia mwimbaji fulani. Unaangalia mwimbaji fulani. Mwimbaji fulani. Haleluya. Amen. Unaangalia ndoa ya fulani ni kwa vizuri. This marriage is see that it's good. Alafu kile kitu umeshushiwa ile siri. Ina kusaidia kunavigate. Kuweza ku So you can copy it. Na kukumbwa. So you can copy it. The, the behavior that that person has. Amen. Amen. Sasa shetana misha jua yusi. The devil knows that secret. Yomana kanisani. And that's why church. Mungu na wanda watu waka kawenda kanisani. God has prepared his people to go to church. Mungu na wambia watu waka mungu. Shetana na aleta nikine kundi. Analiweka hapa wa people. And brought it here inside the church that we live with. Una kaa pa mwini. You put it here. And I'm 
not saying this just for Christians, but I'm also saying this for leaders. We have a Christian that's original. We have baptized them. We say that I'll follow Jesus Christ with all my heart. Oh, oh even my, my parents hate me. I will not say no to God. We have an original uh, original Christian. But I say that I'll follow Jesus Christ with all my And then we have a Christian that's fake. May God help us. So you today. What group have you seen? Now, the people that come from Congo truly love them. If you bring your fabric, you'll see yeah, you you bring your fabric. You know but these girls won't know which one is fake and which one is original. They won't know which one is fake and which one is original. The people they have fabric, they know. And there's other things you guys say. Grand spread. Grand spread. And that's the original one, right? And the other fake one you guys say. You guys say what? 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 The fake fabric, what do you guys call it? Even if he has a big name, but it's fake. So who knows? Amen. And in church, in Christians that are fake, what wish more are for her? The um, who do you pray? I'm telling the truth, and I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Because I live you, and 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 I fungu a mambo. He opens. What can't wish for a mambo? When when Christians. And that's why when you see God is like he knows what's going on. But when you pray about it, you got used to it. You make up when you masaba. You sit on the floor. You attend the ludi. Years pass. You are used to it. You are used to it. Yes, we are. 
these days we have Christians that are very tired. Tired. They're very tired. Even to sit down we have people that are being tired and it's truly it's Are you guys also trying to leave? Isn't that right? God 
said, are you also trying to leave? Petro looked. As the other one looked, we came to copy Jesus. We came to fix the bread. 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 Fix the Oh, where are we going? Oh, where are we going? We already know. No, we already know. We already know. We already know that you, you are the one. Come away, D O A. You have everything. Families are healed. Our families are healed. Our city is 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 healed. Our Amen. The Bible tells us that the people were seated with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, I can't be. Jesus said, "Amen." Amen. Amen. Now, you are telling me that you need me. And they didn't know she was going to be there. And that's the chapter two. That Petro had. And as I was shuffling with this, he started singing with with knives. But King, Allah is a mission. Mission. The last mission. Yes, I can't tell you. Jesus gave them strength. Hallelujah. And when he left, this is the fact that you're going to start with your work. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, what was the funny cause of something that you're going to do? They didn't start on a job because Jesus left, but they started way back. When I went on a scammer, they started going to hear words. They come and listen to us. They say, "Here, we're not leaving." Abba, too. We're not leaving. Abba, too. I don't want. Your life is a change. It started being fake. You start 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 So stand. 
copy God. Look, look at the behaviors of God. Jesus had a uh, habit of And the Bible tells us that he was Welcome, Afra. 
wachungaji wako wapi? Wale wachungaji wako wapi? Wachungaji mje huko mbele. Hapa basi nikuse hadi mbele. Wachungaji mje.
Tunashukuru kwa sababu tumesikia sauti yako. Hapa fuhu bango wa huyu mtumishi kuingia hapa leo. Lakini wewe ulikuwa umekwishajua kwamba ataingia hapa. Na umeleta sauti yako juu ya kanisa. Kwa sababu ya watu kuiga. Kwa sababu ya watu kuiga wana 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 wanaambukizwa tabia fake ambazo ni kinupe na tabia za Ukristo kinupe na tabia za mapokeo ya Roho Mtakatifu kama ulivyotuita na watu wako wamekisha sema na wewe chini ya mikono ya watumishi asante Bwana kwa sababu umewasamea sasa angalia hizi simu hizi simu Bwana umezileta kwetu kwa sababu ya kuturahisisha mawasiliano hizi simu tumepewa kwa ajili ya kufanya huduma kama tunavyofanya online. Hizi simu tumepewa kwa ajili ya mambo kadhaa kwa kadhaa yanayokupendeza. Lakini adui amekwisha ingia, amebadilisha lengo na mpango wako kutupatia simu hizi. Kuanzia dakika hii, tabia iliyoungwa na shetani ndani ya simu ya kila mmoja tumeifukuza kwa jina la
kwa ajili ya kumpa Mungu utukufu kwa sio kwa ajili ya kuchati vitu visivyompatia Mungu utukufu kwa sio kwa ajili ya appointment mabaya kwa sio kwa ajili ya ubaguzi na chuki kwa tangu leo nimekutenda simu nimekuweka wakfu kwa ajili ya damu ya Yesu tumika kwa ajili ya kumzalia Mungu matuki na wagonjwa wote ambao wamekuwa ambao wameingiwa na ile pepo ambayo Mungu ameonesha ilikuwa imejikunja kama nyoka ambayo iko humo nyoka ambayo iko humo inapepeta ulimi kama kiu ya maji mtu asipoangalia hana amani kuanza leo na kufungua kwa jina la Yesu magonjo ya kila namna nimeyakemea kwa kiongozi mikosi na balaa nimesikia aina zote za majini na mikuu nimekemea kwa jina wataasa wapewe watoto wata wazito wafunguliwe na kila kibao aina zote za mikosi na balaa nimenyamanzisha na kufukuza nimepigisha kwa jina la Yesu Bwana ninakushukuru kwa sababu wikazi tumeifaa nasikia kweli unatupenda hakika watu wengi wameanguka kupitia simu kama mtu angelifunuliwa akaona mafumu ya jinsi gani shetani alitumika ndani ya simu ni hatari ninakushukuru kwa sababu uko mwema asante kwa ajili ya hii simu ambayo imeingia kanisani leo Asante kwa sababu imepokea uponyaji. Asante kwa sababu umeitakasa. Asante kwa sababu umemtakasa mwenye simu. Connection zote za kuzimu ambazo zilikuwa ndani yake kupitia simu zimekata katika katika shida. Haina zote za mikosi na kile Asante kwa kuwa umefanya jambo jipya. Natimiza kama ulivyosema nambariki kila aliyekuja nambariki muhubiri nambariki wageni nambariki mke wako nambariki kanisa nzima kwa jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wetu naomba amen amen leta makofi kwa Yesu haleluya leta makofi kwa Yesu